ever been working on something and then something happens and you're like, okay, drop everything, work on that thing? Well, that just happened. I was recording a video. I was really into it. And then I looked at my phone like an idiot. I shouldn't have done it. And I saw this. This is a thing and we're talking about it now because this is the video that we're posting. The gnashing of teeth. The howls of the damned. They say there's no gain without pain, but how far are you willing to go? How much will you sacrifice for true power? June Armory events let you use your own life to open rune gates. Oh, and unleash the horrors within. All right, so check it out. So uh, they uh, they just, you know, casually threw this uh, play mat in, the key art from behind the uh, the pictures right here. There's a behind me, look, there it is. And look at this crazy looking play mat back here. Uh, yeah, so if you go to a June Armory, uh, you could get one of these play mats. You could get this brand new card that tells us the Rune Gate ability uh, and also has Blood Debt. And uh, you could get a brand new Shadow Rune Blade weapon that's going to be playable by this adult hero art, which we are definitely going to look at for Vincent. Uh, so yeah, a June Armory Kit includes four of those cold foils. And we'll take a look at the weapon here in a bit. And it's an interesting little weapon. Not crazy, but interesting. Uh, you're going to have 33 extended rainbow art uh, Vantum Banshees. One Requiem for the Damned People's Choice playmat. One Dusk Till Dawn General Use playmat. And, uh, of course, you're going to get posters. Now, this is the kit that comes every month for free to stores that support armories. Isn't that cool? For free, your store, your local store, could run armories. Hey, if your local store needs an event to run, to bring new players in, uh, I was gonna make a video about this. Maybe I should make that video. In fact, I'll just make that video after I make this video. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's exactly one type of event that your store should run in order to bring maximum amount, amount of people into the store. And I know this is 100% true, uh, because James White told me, <laughs> he literally told me uh, what kind of event uh, that most stores were running. Okay, so I'll talk about that in a separate video. But nevertheless, uh, tell your uh, tell your LGS that they can get their hands on this crazy thing, um, which is, by the way, all hinting at what's to come in July with Dusk Till Dawn. Because this is all art cards and stuff that we can expect from dusk till dawn and it gives us a glimpse of what vincent is going to do so if you wanted to see any up close and personal art here's how you find that if you go to retailers which is a drop down right here if you go to retailers and go to retailer news and you click that it will take you to retailer uh, armory kit faq so if you click this you can then see the same thing you can see some more breakdowns for stores. This is usually for stores, but right here is the secret button because this takes you to the Armory Events um, little like spreadsheet page thing, like the, the key art, and there she is, Vinset. And I don't know if we get a little hint as to what her like full name is. I forget if we've seen that, uh, but Vinset is able to sacrifice some of her life to open rune gates, and in doing so, pull the horrors from Arathiel into the world of Wraith and just drop them like little snowflakes onto, uh, you know, the world of Wraith and uh, Solana specifically to do, you know, whatever they do, uh, probably kill things. But Vincent here looks like, uh, well, she when she was young, she just had like some pins and needles in her arms and now she's uh, got a giant metal rune covered coat. Um, and she's probably stuck a little bit, uh, not having a good time, not around for a long time, but maybe a good time. I don't know. Uh, so let's take a look at the weapon. Okay. So here's the weapon. Flail of Agony is a Vincent specialization. You can only play this if you're Vincent, which by the way is a great little, uh, in my opinion, a great little tweak, if you will, 
to uh, the Rosetta Thorn problem where you print a really good weapon and Rosetta Thorn, you know, being the really good weapon as just a generic Runeblade weapon uh, is immediately just out outclasses all the other uh, Runeblade weapons. Just the best weapon, period, end of story. It's like, that's the one you play. Uh, and so all the other ones are just kind of left by the wayside. And so this is a way that you stop that from happening. Vincet specialization, boom, only played by Vincet. Shadow Runeblade weapon, flail. It's a one-handed weapon. Um, this does not have go again, but it is a one-handed weapon, so you could technically have two flails. Let's just, just do this. Just do that the whole time. It attacks for one. Uh, it does not cost a resource. If you notice, it costs a life to attack with this, which is so freaking cool. It costs a life to attack with this. And when this hits, it creates a rune chant token. So if your opponent's like, cool, I take one, you took one, everybody takes one. When this hits, you also get a rune chant token. And that is quite spicy. This literally is meant to tick your life total down with your opponents. And that's a pretty powerful strategy. You look at what uh, Icelander does. Uh, oftentimes, like, Dromai can kind of play that if you're playing aggro. Just take damage, give damage, take damage, give damage, win the game at low life totals. Uh, yeah, this, this weapon could be quite good, uh, even though it doesn't appear to be. If it had go again, if it had go again, oh my god, who knows, who knows. Now, this is even spicier. Vantum Banshee is a three cost seven attack Shadow Rune Blade attack that blocks for three. Um, and it says Blood Debt. Well, this is in your banish zone at the beginning of your end phase, lose one. So we obviously have ways to banish. Um, Chain was able to give go again. Vincet, we don't necessarily know, but we do know that she is going to have some capability of banishing these cards. We just don't know how. Now, then we come to the Rune Gate ability printed on this, and this was something we didn't quite know. By the way, I also like this little wispiness. Was it always wispy like that, or am I just now noticing that? Tell me in a comment below. Am I just now noticing that? Either way, Rune Gate. If you control Rune Chance equal to or greater than the cost, you may play it from your banished zone without paying its cost. So you see the, do you see the synergy here? You lose some life, and in doing so, you create a rune chant, and you gain enough rune chants to the point where you can open a gate, you can tear open a gate to Irathiel, pull Vantum Banshee through your banished zone, and play it for free. And then in doing so, you're playing an a, a on rate ish attack for the cost, uh, but you're paying for you're not paying for it at all. You're playing an above rate attack at that point with arcane damage as well, because when you attack with this, you'll send the rune chance that you are creating, and that is quite good. You don't have to pay for this, but you do have to create the rune chance, so you're paying for it prior to this. You don't have to pay for this specifically when you're playing it, and you're sending what is amounting to 10 damage across two, uh, you know, forms of damage. This could be some quite interesting gameplay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. And then also, that guy looks look looks like a thing with the hands. Don't touch me. Uh, he's got arms, but like this is creepy looking. I like it. I like it a lot. That's a playmat. All I'm going to say, that's a playmat. And then, of course, the uh, Dusk Till Dawn key art in playmat form will look quite stunning, I am sure. Of course, we. I, I actually broke down this picture here. Uh, if you would like to know the different uh, heroes and the different people. Uh, yes, everyone that said this is Dorinthia, I kind of agree with you. It's probably Dorinthia. Uh, cape and all. Uh, but yeah, I broke down all of the, the heralds up here. If you want to watch that video, I think it was like uh, two or three three or four videos ago. Something like uh, the things you didn't expect uh, in the announcement for Dusk Till Dawn. But yes. These are the June promos and uh, things that you can get from the armory kit. And oh my god, that is crazy. Like, this is a three for six in yellow that is going to swing for effectively nine from Banished. The question will be is what does Vincent do to get them into Banished? And then how is she going to build up Rune Chance? Are you going to be sort of uh, caged to building up Rune Chance? the normal way that like a, a Viscerai would do it by, you know, playing rune chant generating cards, because obviously Viscerai can make even more of those, uh, but he doesn't have access to this card. He doesn't have access to this because he's not a shadow rune blade. 
Unless we got a Shadow Rune Blade version of him. I don't know. My head's spinning because this is crazy. Flail of Agony. This card seems really good. Tell me what you think in a comment below. Am I just losing my cool because this all came out while I was already hyped about something else? I need to know what you think about this and how you think Vincent is going to be ripping open Rune Gates on the table near you come, I don't know, two months at this point. A month and two, maybe? I don't know. It's coming soon. If you enjoy videos like this where I ramble uh, incessantly, make numbers climb slightly higher. That way you'll see the next video where I talk about, uh, you know, some stuff specifically about some good casual formats. As always, thanks for watching.